Hi, this is Dave from GadgetHelpline.com and today we're going to go through a little walkthrough of the latest version of Android, version 4.1, also known as Jelly Bean. We've got it installed here on our GSM Samsung Galaxy Nexus and we're in the lock screen, so the first thing you'll notice, the lock screen has changed slightly. You've still got your camera unlock and your regular unlock and at the top you see the word Google, which is to unlock straight into Google Now, which is probably the biggest feature in Jelly Bean. Uh, most of Jelly Bean is just uh, an overhaul of ice cream sandwich to make the, uh, the operating system faster and slicker. So if we swipe straight up, it goes into Google Now, which is uh, an enhanced version of Google Search. It's very clever. It uses uh, location um, and your previous search history to bring you up cards here. Um, at the moment, we haven't used the phone enough to do that. But for an example, it will show you um, sports scores for teams you've searched for on Google. It will use GPS to see if you're abroad, and it will give you currency and language translation cards as well, which are very useful. Um, and if we have a look here, we should be able to show the sample cards if we've got a decent connection. So it will show you your next appointment from the calendar. It will also be able to program your daily commute, and it will check traffic and say, it's your your usual morning route is busy and you need to take another route so very clever it's a sort of a personalized uh, experience and you'll see you might notice here the uh, option at the top is kind of like i google uh, which is google's personalized thing so you can search here as well this uh, the search has been overhauled so if we just do for ex existence example rather a search for mcdonald's um, it will give you web searches and phone searches and if you do a quick tap there it gives you location-based search, so it's found the nearest McDonald's, um, uh, and if you swipe down, you get web search results, um, which is the full version of Google. And you can then tap on links, and it will load up into the browser, or you can choose if you wanted to go there. You can hit one of these places, and it will go straight into Google Maps, and you can get your directions there. It's really, really quick, as you'll notice. Our Wi-Fi signal isn't the best, but it's super fast, which is uh, one of the key things of uh, Jelly Bean. Um, finally, with Google Now, you've got voice search. Um, you can speak and it'll do the search, or you can just open up Google Now and say Google and it'll head into this screen to do a search. It's having a bit of a fit because we're talking too much here, but um, another great feature there. Uh, the main uh, emphasized thing about Jelly Bean that Google uh, were keen to stress is something called Project Butter which, although it sounds quite odd, it's, uh, it's a way in which the phone can uh, cleverly speed itself up only when you're touching the screen. So it will draw on the processor to make sure you're uh, opening and closing and switching between apps and going through menus is nice and quick. Um, but when you're not using it, it won't do any, it will slow right down because obviously you're not using the phone and this is going to save battery. So uh, as you can see, very, very quick. The, the Galaxy Nexus doesn't have a quad core processor, it's dual core but nice and fast there. Um, another thing is notifications. If we drag down the notifications bar, you can see that things sli look slightly different. Um, on here, you've got your notifications can be grouped uh, and they can be bigger. So if you've got five emails in your Gmail, it's bigger uh, and you can go into that and view that. Things like alarms can be snoozed and dismissed from, um, from in here and calendar appointments. And also you can swipe away notifications if you don't want them, just like you can do with um, uh, with the multitasking in, in Android. Um, so those are the main additions uh, there in Jelly Bean. Um, one other thing, Google has added Currents, which is its version of Flipboard. Uh, for those not familiar with Flipboard either, it's like a digital magazine. So you can put in your favorite websites, RSS feeds, and your social websites, Facebook and Twitter, and it will draw in all of your news and you can read it offline. So that app is now pre-installed on Jelly Bean. Um, there aren't any other real app additions or changes to the widgets. They stay the same as in uh, Ice Cream Sandwich. And you've got the Play Store link there. Uh, navigation has changed slightly, but not hugely. Um, so those are really the main changes in Android Jelly Bean. Um, just in case you're wondering, we're just going to have a look here. Um, if we go into settings, accounts have changed. They're now, instead of being in a in a little area there, sort of on their own. If you go into About Phone, scroll down, Android version 4.1 there, and just to finish off, if we keep tapping that, we get the standard Easter egg, which is hidden in there by Google. If you tap and hold, 
you get a screen full of jelly beans to flick around. So that's Android 4.1 Jelly Bean, and it's on our Samsung Galaxy Nexus. We hope you've enjoyed that, and if you've got any questions or want to learn more about when you're going to get uh, Jelly Bean on your phone, stay tuned to the Gadget Helpline blog. Thanks very much.